Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 9 of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, what are we starting up? Oh, training arc? Yeah, we still doing that. And do what? Which is right. Is she trolling? Oh my god. Yeah, you might get sick. We don't need you to get sick. Right? You can't get horny by being meditating. You can't be horny by being meditating. Meditated. <laughs> And you have your sword. Let's just hope it's not a whip, babe. Mm -hmm. Did he get out? He got out. Cody got out, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the puppy got out. <laughs> No, because he only really wants to hang out with my mom, but my mom is asleep because she had to work. And so she's in her room, knocked out, like, I don't know what, and he just starts to cry. And like, pick me up. And I'm like, Cody, she's not going to pick you up. She's asleep. She's asleep and listening to a TikTok for, like, the bazillionth time in her sleep while I'm like, ma'am, shut up. And don't judge me, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I literally just kind of... No, I've been up since like... Seven, eight-ish, but I went back to sleep a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's probably going gentle. Damn. She's right. We'll see about that, babe. She probably made all her merch. That's so cute. <laughs> go where you just want to ruin the town and go kick what's her face's ass again That's not her style, babe. She likes dolls, not m not action figures. Did 
you think someone knows you and they give you the wrong shit. You're right. I love just how, you know, yeah. <laughs> she looks scary, but the way she says it, it just, she sounds so cute. Right? I mean, unless she charmed him, it could be the other girl. Ah, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh! I sound like mindless robots, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Of course, under her spell. Cody! My poor dog. I mean, that's a simple power, but hey, makes sense. Oh, not the dagger. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, it, it's a smart move, but damn. Mm. Girl, come on now. <laughs> I, I feel like you both are gonna fuck up, so. Not because they planned that. See? Smart. Babe, I think you're in the dollhouse. Yeah, no. Yeah, you in the dollhouse. Oh my god. Damn, babe. Two times in a week. Mm.
my poor dog. Good job. Yes. Cover the baby's eyes. Yes, look at the butterfly. Ain't it cute? <laughs> Cody! <laughs> yeah, you actually thought you had hands, babe? Yeah, mm hmm. Zero taste. <laughs> Come here. Yep, come here. I know you want to go lay with her, but she sleep. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. There you go. Go lay down. Good job. I mean, could you actually sound better? But does that mean she needs to be a naked idol? I mean, I'm not here for that. I'm just going to go back to eating my cashew.
I thought, honestly, she punched her. Punching someone in the boob? Don't do that. That fucking hurts. Just like that? No, um... No arguing, no ifs, no ands, no buts, nothing. What, what, they gonna be slaves? What are they gonna do? I mean, yeah, now the, well, the number is even greater now because it's five of them, but... Going against a nun and their former leader, aka, you know, all the other roles that she has played. Girl, who are you, <laughs> who are you lying to? That's not going to work out well. Mm -mm. That's a queen going against some peasants. <laughs> how is that gonna go because we know with the nun the nun she just gets bigger and such and she can literally crush the crap out of anybody but with their leader we don't really know anything like we we don't know her power just jack ish her power could literally be anything I, I mean seriously no and then like because uh, how many stars does she have if the other two have like what loco has like four no loco has three because on the power scale she has to have like 20 <laughs> you know when you go against the final boss <laughs> are like the phases of the final boss and then you die. <laughs> and then you have to set the boss over all over again. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> so imagine. Imagine like OG Kingdom Hearts. When more Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. <laughs> and let's say. How old was I when I played Kingdom Hearts 1? I, I was still in grade school. So I was still baby. So, third grade, third, fourth grade, I had to be, like, eight or nine, maybe ten. And so, let's say, not even, like, the boss. Let's say you get to, I'm going to list three. So, mm, yeah, three. So, let's say the first boss you get to is Homeboy from Tarzan. That's one. Next box you get to is Riku featuring Donald and Goofy. Next fight is the worst fight. Is you and Riku one on one, and you know psh, Donald on the side knocked out, and you try your hardest, <laughs> your hardest as a kid trying to defeat these three. You, you like successfully defeat two out of the three, and you cannot defeat up till a certain point because you know. Long story short, I have defeated it. You know now because uh, more skilled <laughs> than you know nine year old Deja. So nine year old Deja, suck it. <laughs> nine year old Deja probably crying right now. Oh my god, that was my like my hell. 
and such. Or imagine, like, playing a Persona game, because, like, I've been playing Persona 3 Reload in, like, a week or two. I might end up playing it today. Um, God, I'm trying to think of a boss. Uh, okay, no, Persona 5. You know the, um, the Okumura boss in the Okumura Palace? Everybody says that it, because it, it is the worst palace, you know, um, <laughs> bar none, like, top tier, if you want to say, yes, like, the worst palace, Okumura. So, the boss fight in both original, nope, yeah, both original and royal, worst fights, like, it's straight up, especially, you know, you have a timer, and you just have hordes, and hordes, and hordes of robots and such, and huh, if you have no SP, thank God that never happened to me, though, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you have no SP, you are screwed but yeah, yeah yeah because like seriously she's like top tier so how are the five of them gonna defeat her and a nun now unless you know um our lovely other magical girls our three end up teaming up with them but i think what we're going to see is because we're only on episode nine and i think we have three more weeks left with this show before it's done um so, it, it's just going to look like this big behind battle. So, think of, if I could compare it to one season of Witcher, of course. Um, not delicious. Mm -mm. What, no, let's use the last Pretty Cure movie that just came out. All the cures all together. All like 80 something. Well, yeah, it's like 80, 81 now, I think. So, you can't count our two recent ones. So, you have to stop at, you know, Baby L. So imagine all of them all together <laughs> in one big epic battle because that's exactly what it's going to be in the next couple of weeks. I don't know. But it is interesting of uh, the fact is that they're going to instantly team up with Utsuna. That To me, because that's weird. You think that they would go back, but then at the same time, because I get it, she does not want to get another freaking <laughs> whipping by her. I know I wouldn't too. That's like a one and done. I mm -mm, can't do it again. Goodbye. Like, no. So yeah, you know, if I wanted to be a little like, Mm, I'm switching sides. I would not be mad at that either, but yeah. How the freak is this gonna go? I mean, how how the hell is this ending in like three weeks? I don't know. <laughs> don't end in a cliffhanger. <laughs> don't. Okay. No cliffhanger. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 9 of Gushing Over Magical Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Also, yeah, um, we're not going to talk about the Loka thing. I, I was just like, I yeah, that's all. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.